Yeah, you decapitate the scoop. Ah. Bonicus. Crater. Crater. <laughs> Should we just, yeah, should we just hook a Sorry. pebble at me or something? Sorry, guys. He doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe, maybe move away from him. Oh, God! They got Larry! <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> is it the fact that the goat is called Larry? <laughs> it's not on the voice. The voice had decreased before, but it's just the Larry part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> okay then. So, our dear friend Baba Yaga is going to. Oh god. <laughs> She's going to look at Elaine and cackle and then she's going to turn and point at Zabornik Hi. <clears throat> and I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw please Ooh, very good alright now there's tricks Baba Yaga points at you and says, Why don't you deal with that girl? Wait. <sighs> Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> She's going to hover away. Are you going to uh, try anything? Spawnic well, uh, has an attack of opportunity. Oh, that's, yep, that's true. That's what I mean. Mm, do spells count for that? Um, no, melee. Aww. Would you have shillelagh? Huh? Yeah, you can still use your your stick yeah. of uh, yeah. to, to <laughs> charm in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid nine does not hit. What a oh pity! Oh my god! Oh, what is the movement of her skull? Uh. Oh, okay then. So that is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I think I know exactly what rice is going to use next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So we're back at the top of the round. <clears throat> um, you hear coming from somewhere beyond the mansion. An answering howl. And I, uh, took you long it, enough? It, uh, woo. it took them <clears> six <throat> seconds. <laughs> As I said, took you long enough. They were prowling around behind the mansion waiting for you guys to do something. And okay. did we ever do something? Okay. George, Martin... Take on that. <laughs> there are too many things. Okay, so first off, you, initiative, you, initiative, you, initiative, and you, <clears throat> initiative. They have joined. Combat. Okay. Mortal combat. <laughs> <clears throat> so this guy goes first um, at the top of the round. <clears throat> I'm just going to move these guys out of the token box up to where they would be. Uh, this guy is going to turn at Zabornik and he is going to attempt to slash at you. The claw attack. With 11 does not hit. Multi attack. With a 16, I assume does not hit. I think... Uh, hold on. <clears throat> I keep mixing up if it's... Top 17. Okay. okay. He flails his little twiggy fingers at your shell rather ineffectively. 
You may want to check your nails. I think you broke one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Just bear with me a moment. If only Arena used to distance weapons. <gasps> Something pinged. I didn't see what it was. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry, I missed it. Arena has transformed. Hmm. And she seems pretty happy about it. Kill them all, kill them all. With that, and then the 1d6 for the lightning, because I forgot to add that on. <clears throat> so that is 10 damage. She comes up and slashes at this, uh, at this yeah, scarecrow, completely opening up the chest cavity and taking off one of its arms. It wavers on its stick, but it is still alive. But it should be a little bit of blaze if it was so dry. <laughs> That's actually a fair point. You know what? Let's let's roll a percentage die on that and see if the lightning ignites anything. Sixty-six. Sure. Why not? Hmm. It takes one damage, one extra fire damage, and it falls over. <laughs> uh, is so proud. <laughs> I knew sometimes I'm useful. Right. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Stump. Stump appears. Stumpy. And he lunges for this one. Mm. Ah, yeah, he grabs it and he rips it apart. Just grabbing it down, pulling it apart down the center, and just scatters the parts. He has a little bit of a disadvantage with only one. Yeah, but ball. he had a bad night and needs to work on some aggressions there. <laughs> yeah. Just shatters it with his uh, its claws. Okay. And Reister. First of all. Yes. This is Mokri on Baba Yaga. <laughs> Typical for people like you, always running away when you have to face responsibility. Okay, hang on. I have to manually rule her wisdom saves because she has a modifier on it. Five plus seven. <laughs> what is it? Twelve? Uh... Does that beat it? Nope, doesn't beat it. <clears throat> so she takes one damage from that. You're like, ow, oh, my There's pride. A sliver of truth to us. Wait, what's the range on Vicious Mockery? Isn't it 60 feet? Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Oh yeah, she's oh. just in range. I mean, depending on where you it count. Doesn't even, it doesn't actually say. It does, it no, says 60, right there. 60 feet, yeah. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, you know what? I would say sure, we'll let this one fly, but in future, mind your ranges. Sorry about that. That's fine. It was only one damage. <laughs> uh, Subornic. Hmm. Been a while since I had a I'm not even moving now. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you want to move? I wanted to move in a little bit closer. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? No, ch no chance of me attacking, I would say. Uh, Not with a werewolf and uh, Zbonic in the way. There are other targets. True, I could go for Little Boy Pink here. Since he's not definitely not focused on me, I get to sneak attack. Mm -hmm. And... Fairly certain it's 10, doesn't it? Um. No. I'm afraid not. 
Your arrow just flips through uh, some of the loose shirts and clunks okay, behind you. Yeah. Have you been getting lightning damage for it? Yeah, he's been adding that. Ah, uh, okay. Wasn't sure. <laughs> um, I'm already adding lightning damage. I've added that manually. Right, yeah. No worries. Yes, so maybe it, sure. It, it's there, but since I didn't hit it, can't really apply it. Fair enough. I wasn't sure if you used it on Babs. <laughs> Zemonic, what would you like to do? Ah, it's Rogue. been a while since good old fashioned magic, y'all. Nevertheless. And Zabonic casts Call Lightning on Baba Yaga. <laughs> nice! Ooh, please let me see it. Mm. Oh. She takes half damage. It's still Something. 11. That's a lot. It is a lot. I think that's uh, that also requires a saving throw for the scarecrow near her. Oh. Yeah, each creature within five feet of that point must make a dexterity saving throw. The scarecrow sits. The, sl- no, the scarecrow sit. has higher decks than Baba Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Anything else? Uh, Wanna throw a stone at uh, <laughs> Sir Lane? <laughs> nah, I think that should be off of that round. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty then. So next up is. Dead. It's Thomas. Hmm. If I use the right thing. He's gonna come in like a tank engine. <laughs> do, yeah. do, do, do. Oh, choo choo. And that's as far as he can get. <laughs> so he's just going to stand there and growl. Ez. Hello. It is your go. Um, Ez is a little concerned about all the stuff that's going on over there with Elaine, but to be honest, he's got plenty of non-friendly uh, targets to be attacking. So, you know, he should be fine for that. The aren't evil. The goats aren't on our side either, so <laughs> as long as the party isn't killed, Ez genuinely doesn't care. Goats are neutral. They're all Swiss goats. They all speak Swiss to Swiss accent. <laughs> oh god, Larry! <laughs> oh god. I love all of you. Hey, um, Ez is gonna use her movement 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. Uh, I think it's only 30 she can move. So this is as far as she can get. Mm -hmm. Uh, She's going to... I think... She's going to... She use her action to transform into her lichen form. And she's just going to roar at the, um, the green twig right here. Oh, sweet yeah. Rule intimidation. Okay, sure. Why not? Intimidation. Seven. Oh god, I just realized something. <laughs> he, not, he not twentyed his wisdom, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh god. Sir yeah. Elaine now is. I've been left in. I've been left in the kiddie pool, literally. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you yeah. yes, but there were bigger fish to fry at that se- at that second. Um, <laughs> Ez, does thirteen hit you? Um, no, it goes not. Okay, he's got multi attack, and that one. Hang on a sec. That one and a nat twenty in the same roll. Mm, okay, <laughs> okay. Down. That's it tries to swing at you a second time, but as you dodge it, its hand grazes over your flaming capesh, and oh, it takes oh, 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 oh. four points of fire damage. <laughs> Questions: Is it now on fire? Dice is no stick. Okay. I- I- I'm happy with just the the extra damage. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> That's very nice. Math is that much health left. Okay. Uh, next up is purple. 
Purple is going to hop forward and attempt to attack Arena. With an at 20. Oh, that hits. Oh. oh my god! I forgot how much damage they do. Fuck. So that's 14 damage. Uh. Arena is not happy. And it has multi attack. Oh. oh. Gets her again. Oh. You know what? what Actually. Mean? She's going to use her reaction uh, to parry that. So she's going to negate that one. Uh, where is it? Reaction. Oh no, wait. She can only protect other people, not on herself. Mm. Immunity shield, a creature you can see attacks a target other than you. Damn. She doesn't have that ability. So, yeah. Arena gets smashed. And and this time it wasn't even Reister. <laughs> <laughs> Arena is unhappy. Next up. She's not unconscious. Good True. Good thing we don't speak um, Lycan because she's swearing in Lycan right now. Okay. So he does seven slashing to Thomas. He is unhappy. And he gets a second attack. And that one. As he's swinging, he manages to catch himself on the werewolf's claws and does three points of damage to himself. Don't mind that. Pinky. Just three points of damage, so that's that much health left. Okay. Next up is Ned. Um, Ned is in werewolf form. It's just I kept the arch to swap out the tokens because I'm a lazy bitch. <clears throat> Sir Lane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> could you roll me a d10, please? D10. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This goat looked at you funny. <sighs> Charge forward and try and cleave it in half. Okay. Hopefully you miss. Yeah, that hits. Oh. I don't think we need to roll for damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, he got Barry! <laughs> Sorry, you guys. You really, you really should maybe consider jumping the fence. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I'm gonna be too well tonight, guys. 10, 15, 20. Mama. He really doesn't know 20, what he's 30. doing. He just... Alright, I think I know what I'm doing. You may uh, want to kick him, maybe. Ez, can you make me a wisdom saving throw, please? Ez? Okay, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Wisdom saving throw, that's a ten. Nope. You know, the other scarecrows were funny, but there's something about this one. He looks genuinely terrifying. He's like in the uncanny valley. You, you are now scared of this particular scarecrow. Well, I'm scared of orange. Yes. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> it's like cats being scared of cucumbers. This will be scared of oranges. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Baba Yaga is seeing what's going on over here. She is going to cast... Cloud Cure. Mm. And this is going to create a 20 foot sphere around this area. So let me just get that out. Uh, a 20 foot radius. So from this point, it is five. Why are you doing this to me? 10, 15, 20. About 10, 15, 20. 
Team Tuesday. So this area is enveloped in a sickly yellow-green fog, obscuring your uh, <laughs> your half-formed um, companions. <clears throat> uh, let's Thing is, see. it also affects um, pink. It, it also affects his her own. The pink scarecrow. thing is not a living creature. Creatures are affected mm, even if they. Um, it, it's not a creature it, though; it's an inanimate object. Do you really I, want I would, to? I think it's a very animate object. Well, okay. I think it, uh... it's a magical creature. It's not actually a living thing, and this is a, a poison um, gas. I think the the scarecrows would be counted as constructs, not That's a creature. That's the word I was All right, for. yeah. Yeah, Sorry, okay. constructs. All right. Okay, so... At the end of the day, we want... You know, she's doing our work for us, regardless, so it's all good. A curse at Constructicons. 5d8. 18 points of damage. Okay. So just let me get all the werewolf's health down here. So there's Thomas. There's Ned. There's Stump. And... Jeffrey's not in there yet, so he's all right. So that was... This is so much health to keep track of, guys. No, now you know how much trouble I was having on Tuesday. <laughs> when that, you know, literally an entire town was being murdered by a giant dragon and some kobolds. Okay, so they have to make a constitution saving throw to beat the spell DC, which is... And that 20! Alright, Stump Ooh. manages to get it. Stump MVP. <clears throat> so Stump is fine. Uh, Thomas is not. Thomas starts choking and gagging. So that is 30... Oh, uh, math. Okay. Ned! Oh, Ned's worse. Ned falls to his knees and clutches at his throat. So that is not that much. Is Ned dead? Uh, no, he's not dead. He's just choking. It has hit him like a kick to the chest. Oh, Ned has it bad. The thing is, it will move 10 feet, roughly uh, towards, well, the top of the stream. Pretty much, it's basically going to rule with the lay of the land. And the lay of the land is... Uh, well, this area is a hill up here. <clears throat> up here is a hill. So everything technically outside the, the brown area is downhill. So on mm. Baba Yaga's next turn, I will rule a d4 to see which direction it rules. Um... Te technically, it says uh, the fog moves 10 feet away from you, which would be from Baba Yaga. Uh, uh, rolling the along the surface of the ground. So, yeah, okay, then in that case, it's going to roll towards you, Reister. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> you got time to move. I can't keep my gob shot. Nope. Can't I? And she's going to move 5, 10, 15. She's going to sit back here, content. Uh, next up is Jeffrey. He sees this shenanigans and he is going, nope. So he's going to go over here and rule. Oh, yeah. Jeffrey just kind of bounces through an old window and comes to here. Uh, he is also in his werewolf form. Next up, we're back to the top of the round and it is Arena. She is not happy with this where this uh, scarecrow, so she is going to absolutely devastate him. Werecrow is something entirely different. Did I say werecrow? Very nearly. <laughs> werecrow. A, werecrows are at the Wizard of Wine. Okay. Wait, does Rina get multi-attack now? I think she does. 
Seems reasonable. She does. Yeah, Arena has multi attack. So her first attack hits for five damage. Her second attack hits for this exact same. Hmm. Hmm. Ten points of damage. <clears throat> and again, we'll roll and see if. Oh, wait, her second electric attack. I forgot about that, so we'll do two six. Uh, 2d6. Alright, and this thing just puffs into non-existence. There's no raven feathers everywhere. Nice work. Quoth, quoth the raven nevermore. <laughs> okay. So Stump has already taken his damage from this on this turn. And he is going to nope out of there. 5, 10, 15, 20. Right. That's as far as he can get. He uh, uh, actually causes uh, uh, an attack of opportunity from Pink Boy. He does, actually. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, Why are you helping our enemies? Oh, that's a nice <laughs> way. He, he's helping thin out the numbers of our future enemies as well. <laughs> so Stump just gets slashed along the flank. Uh, if Stump gets out of here, I'm gonna make a threat of him. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11, so that is now that amount of damage. Stump is very brave. I have to admit that the player is starting to feel sorry for Stump and wants Stump to survive. As on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> so Bornick just thinks he's cute because he wagged his tail at her, his stumpy tail. Mm. Uh, okay, so Bornick, your turn. What? Corgi. Okay, uh, first Why of all, the Bonnick is going to move over here, kind of like to group. Yes. And uh, sorry, um, yeah, huh? you, you do you. She uh, can move through arena good. and the pile of raven feathers that used to be a scarecrow. And the fun thing about call lightning is that I can <clears> actually <throat> use it again without burning a spell slot because the storm is still going. Ah, all right then. So, uh, I hope Baba Yaga got her dodging boots on. Okay, let's see. Where is her sheet? Dex. She does not, so she takes the full brunt of that. Oh, nice. There's uh, my lightning. 21, so that is now... That amount of health. She is hurt, and she is gnashing her teeth at you. Do I now get to move, because you kind of skipped me. Oh, did I? Sorry, Eister. Go ahead. Uh, Rice is gonna go here, jump over the fence. Down Watch here, out! Down you here. killed Larry! <laughs> uh, I am Barry! <laughs> I have no idea what they're saying. Good uh, Gary, and, Gary! Uh, I'm taking a, a shot at disadvantage trying to shoot Sir Elaine in the foot with a longbow. With a nat 20? Yeah, that definitely hits. I'm taking, I'm taking the disadvantage, so I'm taking the 22. Still hits. Okay! Uh, and I'm not going to use. <clears throat> I'm not going to use sneak attack because I don't want to kill him. <clears throat> Shit! Oh, that was okay. good. Yeah. <laughs> I was just worried this out. <laughs> so then, you're going to take eleven points of damage. Oh, okay. And on your turn, you will get to do a wisdom saving throw. To try and escape the uh Keep in mind you still got that However if you fail you now have a new target. You now are going to wail on me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'll possibly carry our Gary. No you you're just thinking a hey, that fuck is trying to kill me. Yeah, he hurt you. He's your new target. Oh, fair enough. 
Uh, I will say as well that if Ez noticed that, you're going to hear this really vicious animal growl coming from Ez's direction. Uh, in, uh, you know, staring at Weister. <laughs> I got plus... my reason. On the plus side, you've now saved Carrie, Harry, and Gary. <laughs> I might give you a chance to get out of this fucking spell. Okay. That's my turn. All right, and uh, I'm sorry we cut your short. Mockery, but I wouldn't know if uh, Sir Elaine would have heard what I would have mocked him for. <laughs> and are you done, Zoronic? Yep. Yes, I am done. I have heard a bitch with lightning. 15, 20, 25, 30. Poor Thomas comes stumbling out of the cloud, coughing and gagging. Ez, you're up. Hello. So I was trying to look up uh, gifts of uh, people getting shot in the foot there, but oh well. Um, so yeah, Ez is just going to... She can't really get closer to um, Orange. So uh, she's... And she doesn't want Baba Yaga to get away, but... So our main focus is going to be on uh, taking out Green here. So she's going to take um, two swings. Uh, first of all, with the Kabesh. Okay, that hits. Okay, so that's uh, the six regular and one fire. Okay. And I think there's not much else she can do uh, except give it another swing with a second attack. All right. Um... <clears throat> The scarecrow staggers with your first hit, and on your second fit, 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 hit, it just goes <laughs> and disappears in a puff of feathers and flame. Nice. Okay, so one, two, three. I can't get within about three squares of orange, so um, Ez is going to try and use her movement. Uh, basically, she's going to get on all fours. And she is going to try and prowl her way around towards Baba Yaga. So that's 5, 15, 20, 25. That's as far as she can get. Okay. <clears throat> okay, next up. He's dead. He's dead. He's fine. <laughs> He's going for Ned. Holy shit, that rhymed. <laughs> uh, he misses. And that one hits. Ned got eight points of slashing damage. <clears throat> per Ned. Ned is almost dead. Mm. Bleeding from his head. It is now his turn. Isn't that sad? You're uh, getting bad. Oh god, I did it unintentionally! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now that drives you mad. Quiet you. Okay. Ned is angry. Ned accidentally hit the wrong Ned button. Is mad. Ned can't see. Ned can Back. see. That hits. That, can't find. that does five damage. Uh, where's Pink's health? There's Pink's health. And then he's gonna bite. Does that hit? It does not. So he's just going to scarper out of the gas. But however, the scarecrow is going to slash at him as he runs. And misses. Elaine. <laughs> not, 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 not. Okay, Elaine. I would like you to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Um, I'm sorry? A wisdom, wisdom saving through, please. Okay. I've clicked here, it's just taking its time. I'm going to use ba can you use Bardic Inspiration? Uh, you don't need to. Oh, okay. You right. come back to yourself and you find a dead goat at your really aching foot. Yeah, sorry about that. Like, what is Where going is on? Where is she? Over there. <laughs> you kind of lo you kind of lost yourself for a moment. Okay. Sorry about your foot. Oh God! 
<laughs> I have yeah, no yeah. idea what it. Why it's is the girl there. always eating? I got to about there, and <clears throat> I'm going to cast as my bonus action, Branding Smite. Ooh. <clears throat> which it's not popping up for some reason. Oh, it's because I've got to. Alright, let's. Oh, damn it, that's. Hang on, I'll try to bring up the actual description for it. Uh, one second, just ignore that. One second. Sorry about this. It's alright. No, I'm just, I'm just laughing at the shit posting on the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I do that. Then hit creature with a weapon attack before this gleams of astral radiance and deals an extra 2d6 radiant. Okay, so you do actually have to hit with the weapon. No. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there's not much I can do with it at the moment because it's not close enough, so. Yep. Okay. But yeah. that's my that's just my bonus action, so I'm ready to go. Alright, next up is this guy. Um He's going to hop towards you and he's going to claw you. Well the twenty one. Twenty one that hits. That hits for seven, and then he's going to attack you again, and that one misses. Okay. It's my seven no second of Okay. Okay. So next up is Baba Yaga. Come here with me. The cloud moves. She is glaring absolute daggers at Zabornak. And I need to double check <laughs> the range on this. So Bonnie gives her a friendly nod and a, wa and a wave. <laughs> oh, there's no range on this. Okay. Okay. She points at you and shrieks out in a language you have never heard before. What? What is happening? That's a lot of damage. That is 64 necrotic damage with the spell Finger of Death with a DC oh. 34 constitution saving throw. Yeah, I, I believe I'm at zero now. Yeah. Zabornik drops to the ground like a sack of potatoes. Ow. Fair play. Well played. I, my, I'll get back to you on that. Mine is stronger. Okay. <laughs> Just so people know, I can't move to heels of on like at this point. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Thing is, Bonnet's to too away. far away from me as well. I think I've got some health potions, so Irina might be able to do something about that. Irina used up all her health potions. She doesn't have any. Oh shit. Five, ten. Might be time for some death saving throws then. Oh dear. Okay. Jeffrey can get that far. It is Arena's turn. Uh let's see here. <clears throat> Where is it? Okay, so she <gasps> is using up her medicine uh, kit, the one thing she has, the healer's kit, and Zaboric is stabilized, but still unconscious. <laughs> I've got you, old girl. It is Stump's turn. Stump is glancing at the turtle. 
and then turns and sprints this way. Whoa. Now he just makes it. That hits. For 14. She is very unhappy about this. And he's going to try and bite her. That hits. She's also now she also now has to uh, throw a DC tw a twelve <laughs> succeed the Constitution save if she doesn't suffer from lycanthropy already. She has other protections in place. <laughs> okay, and uh, that is Stump's turn. Reister, you're up. Okay. Um... Let me just check something. Now that's too far. Do you have a scarecrow in range? Yeah. I know. I also have a Seralane in range. <laughs> then again, so far the longbow has worked. But also, interestingly enough, since a longbow has a range of 150... Ooh. You could do that. I could still hit her. I'm going okay. to fire uh, an arrow at Baba Yaga. She gets all the electricity today. Uh, 15. Yeah, pets? Yes. Bring the fire. Wait, fuck, I, for I forgot the stealth <clears throat> damage because the focus on me. 14, 14 damage. Okay. Or so six of that is lightning damage. So she shrieks out and starts swearing at you. Doesn't Stump have to save as well? Um, oh, wait, no, no sorry. Sorry, right. no, 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 no. sorry. Uh, that's an attack. Uh, she starts swearing in a slew of different languages. And you pick out a few uh, familiar ones, Reister. A few dwarvish swears you haven't heard in a long time. Is you understand a few draconic swears? I, didn't I know. also hear a few elven swears. Uh, no, she not. doesn't speak elven. <laughs> well, <coughs> I'm just thinking if um, vicious mockery still is uh, also is a bonus action. True. Uh, sixty feet range, though. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would insult uh, the scarecrow. <laughs> all right. What's the scarecrow's wisdom? Look, you're just an overgrown uh, potato sack. Whoops! The six sneak damage shouldn't be there. Sorry. It would just be three. Just three psychic damage. Okay. The uh, scarecrow pauses and looks down at its body, which is in fact created with a potato sack. It looks confused. The turtle is down. You don't need to make a death save. It is Thomas's turn. 15, 20, 25, 30. He makes it. And he's going to do this. And that one. Yeah, oh. he's going to hurt himself. He's trying to bite his skull, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he is uh, swiping for Baba Yaga, but he misjudges his jump and smacks his claw against the, uh, the hard skull instead and stuns himself. <clears throat> so that's his turn done. Is. Hello. It is your go. Okay, so. Okay, so Ez is going to um, see, um, you know, the two pack members um, um, leap on top of her, and she, on all fours, is going to try and join in the fray. So that's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's as far as she can get. So. Hang on a second. 
No, if, if you'd gone diagonal, you would have got you would have got there. You can cut that corner uh, if you want, yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay. a corner that does not exist. Yeah. Okay, that is very kind of you. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, then. Well, in that case, uh, she's going to do that. And uh, the first uh, strike, uh, she's actually going to uh, use her... Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, first strike is going to be with the uh, Kapesh. Okay. Seven uh, regular three fire. Hits, yeah. Okay, and second one, uh, let's make it a little more interesting. The hey. second one is going to be with her lichen hand, but it's going to be a, uh, let's see. She's going to burn two of her psionic points. And let's see. Use a bonus action uh, to make uh, the next one a brute strike. Uh, that basically means an extra 2d6 if this hits. So, right. second attack. Yeah. Second attack. There you go. All right. <clears throat> um, you strike uh, Baba Yaga and her robe catches fire a bit and she shrieks and hisses at you. And you rear up and slam down with all your might so much so that you cause the skull to tip and rotate it flops down it tips over and slams down on top of Baba Yaga she is now under the skull Stump hmm. and Thomas look at you with wide eyes Kill it. Um, so, uh, a question uh, with the second attack and everything was that a hit or a miss? Combat has ended. Oh, oh, it's okay. So, wait, wait, wait. Is, isn't the scarecrow still alive? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the scarecrow. Fuck. I, I would say, I would say, as that happens, um, shoot, um, Ez is going to have to make a wisdom saving throw. You are. Yeah. You got hurt. Shit. If there was for that. Did I get hurt? No, you didn't, actually. You're fine. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ez needs what to make a thing? wisdom saving throw because she's having an argument with herself. Oh, yeah. Not to even throw it. Yeah. She's in kind of. Bobby so is not I would... dead. This is, this is, well, Baba Yaga's not dead. She's incapacitated at the moment because she's under the skull, but she's not dead. But you can okay, do your okay, wisdom no, saving I... throw if you want. Uh, we'll wait until the occasion calls, all right then. Charlene, why are you moving? Because the scarecrows have stopped moving. Yep. Okay. So, turn order is no longer important, eh? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> up in the corner the uh, cloud of poison gas starts to fade away lift it Ez is uh, basically gonna you know uh, try scrabbling under the uh, skull trying to lift not it you. not you Ez these two you step back You are hopefully knowing what you're doing. Yes. Okay. The two Can werewolves we you right now. glance at you. They go over and start to lift the skull. Uh... Do I need to smack you? Okay. As they lift it, a swarm of insects erupts from underneath the skull, swarms around you, and then disappears off to the north. Ah, son of a bitch. Um, I can get an opportunity attack, is there? Nope. Damn. Okay. 
You okay, Elaine? Fine. Elaine, get over here. Elaine, not Wolf King. This is going to growl in frustration um, at, uh, you know, with the, towards Stumpy and Thomas. She escaped. We yeah. still need to find and destroy her. She uh, will not to Stumpy, though. Okay, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at level 2 on Zabarnak. He grins. And I cast Healing Word on level 1. So that's 18. Thank Help. You. Yeah, what, what happened, buddy? I miss. It's close. Do you need an arrow in your other foot? Or should I nail Or do you want to relinquish now, Wolf King? Uh, fine. Yeah, that Cerulean just comes back into the room at that point. Oh, right. could, could somebody fill, fill me in on what happened? Uh, walking uh, over here. Yes, he's he's left the room now, right, sir. At that time, he was in control. Baba oh, Yaga hadn't man. decided to sod off. We would, you, he would have, he would have pledged allegiance. He would have killed her. We... Elaine. We both know that your Wolf King is looking for power. No. Reister, Wolf King and I agreed to kill Baba Yaga. You're letting that... You're letting that part of you take control? Considering I just left and killed two goats for no damn reason. Until I stopped him. Exactly. Sorry about but... your foot. It's alright, but I've... I assumed if we were together, we'd be able to snap ourselves out of it. This um, is going to turn to Ned um, very angrily. And uh, she's going to ask... Um, where would she have gone to heal herself? Ned opens his mouth to talk, but Geoffrey steps in to a hut in the centre of town. He turns to Geoffrey, then we, then we hunt and kill. Lead the way. Oh dear. Elaine, it is better if you are in control. Don't worry. Prove himself weak. This way. You know, gotta keep the two of us in control, and what the hell point is he even being here? Whatever. Thanks, you guys, for healing me. Could could you table the arguments? At least Only until I'm now. having this headache. Okay. Don't worry. It's not happening again. <clears throat> The wolves lead you away tree. from the mansion and they point you towards the large tree. Looks <clears> like <throat> we're, we know where we're going next. We're going to pay another... We're going to pay her a visit at her home. Uh, would anyone like to roll perception check? Absolutely. Let me see if I can see. Okay. Lana can see. Despite the wonderful headache. <laughs> Zabonic and Irina, you um, both are able to see the swarm of insects that erupted from underneath the skull is buzzing across this open field and uh, goes inside the cabin that you can see. How about we set, how about we set the cabin on fire? Where else would she go? 
Wait. That's an idea. Ez okay, is what? going to... Going to coke? Uh, it's just that Rice is just thinking... I know where we where she would go. After all, Junior has a castle. As he's uh, thinking about that, Ez is going to try and get in range, and she's going to, um, as soon as she gets in range, she's going to release uh, a fire energy beam at the uh, currently immobile house. Okay, would you like to move yourself closer then? Okay. <clears throat> all right. As you launch, uh, launch your firebolt at the attack, or launch your attack at the house, I would very f first like you to roll an attack for me. Cool. Oh, um, that's gonna be boop, and uh, it's a DC of twelve. That okay. needs to be. Well, well, it's a how. It's a building. It's not very dexterous. <laughs> yeah, but as far as we know. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a, even though it's a tr moving tree trunk. Okay, you do hit it. Oh then. That's going to be sorry. It's two separate things I have to click. So that's going to be twelve fire damage. I was supposed to say I've not sheathed my weapons, so do I still have me smite active? Uh, what's the time limit on it? I don't think there is one. Uh, let's have a quick check. No, wait, as is a transformed form. You know, named Thomas and Stump. Uh, doesn't seem to say it. There's one or not. Okay, I would say then, yeah, you're okay then. Okay. Okay. Ignore the skull. The skull's not there anymore. That is what is now left at the ruins of the mansion. Jeffrey leads you here and points towards the house. Anyone wanting to knock? Ez just casts uh, energy beam. Alright then. In that case... We are going to go back into the turn order then. Still previous? Mm hmm. Still previous. It's. I mm, Doesn't show. Mm, doesn't. Uh, we might have to. Yeah, we might have to uh, do the initiative again. Darn. Yeah, okay. So the initiative. <clears throat> well, first, hang on. Clear. There. All right. All right. And again. <laughs> you get the same one again. Rolling worse. That's fine. Uh, as was four, so let me get you in there. At turn four. There we go. Now just let me get Arena in on this action. And the werewolves. It's interesting that uh, the house, uh, that Baba Yaga's tree, has a small area that looks entirely different from the surrounding environment. Yeah, it's totally the, um, <coughs> totally the magic. Totally, totally magic, yeah. yeah. It's totally not that it's two yeah. maps laid on top of one magic, another. I see. Be quiet. <laughs> All right. First up is Thomas. Ooh. He is going to glance back towards Arena with a toothy grin and launch forward to try and attack the bow. And that hits. <clears throat> No, I've run out of ink in my pen. No, it's fine. No. It's That's why you use mechanical pencils for all this. I have mechanical your blood. pencil. <laughs> uh, so that is now... <clears throat> Excuse me. The house is now damaged. 
And then he's going to bite. Because the wolf wants his stick. And that's eight. And the house is now a werewolf, werewolf house. <laughs> it's now a house wolf. It's a warehouse. Ned. No, it's yeah. a were warehouse yeah. that would transform into a human. Ned That's what the wear part is. Jeffrey. It's a rocky warehouse. <laughs> Ned casts Jeffrey the <laughs> darkest look and he charges forward as well. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He is just out of reach. Sir Elaine. <clears throat> okay. I think I'll join in with the uh, murder pile. So that's 25 feet to there. And we're going to try to do a uh, two-handed longsword strike. Okay, and you can add your smite to this. Okay. Uh, 19 that's does hit. 19. Yeah. And that's 7, and I get to add 2d6. And now the house is glowing. It's 13. Or at least and the, the house, part of the yeah. branch. That, that part of the tree trunk is now glowing. Okay. I'm going to attack again, because I get two attacks. You Same do. first... 26. That is a not 20, so yeah. That's 8 plus 7 and 2d6. Uh, you only get the first strike with the... Oh, the never, mind. never mind that. I'm afraid. <laughs> so that is still, yeah, well, still 15 points of damage. So let's see, that's a 15... Um, I can do maths, I can't. 27. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, that's about it really I can do. Jeffrey is going to charge forward with a wink at Ez. And he is going to attack. He misses. His claws just scratch hopelessly at the bark. Uh, the bark is worse than the bite. And he starts gnawing on a root, but nothing seems to happen. It's Arena's turn. <coughs> she kind of pauses there and glances to Ez and lowers her sword a bit. She's like, do we let the wolves deal with this? Um, is Ez able to respond on this plan? hear you. Uh, I would say yes. Okay. Um, uh, I would say then uh, telepathically, um, as is going to say, yes, let the weak uh, go first. Irina nods and holds her action. Next up is the heist. He's going to attack. Well, first, I need to roll to see who's going to attack. Uh, it's going to attack Thomas. So that hits Thomas. Do, 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 do. <laughs> A root erupts from the ground and slams down on the unsuspecting wolf. <coughs> you hear him yelp and cry out as he is slammed to the ground. Um, but so yeah, I'm making that sound. Yeah, pretty much. The house deals massive damage. House yes, MD, if you will. It does. Uh, next up, then. Wait, does the house have multi attack? Oh. One would almost expect, right? Yep. Um, it has many branches. Almost like a bank. Reister, as you're fixated on the root smacking Thomas, you don't see another root scoop up a large rock and throw it at you. Ow. It. Ow. Ow. For 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Ouch. <clears throat> Gosh darn it. Ow. That'll leave a mark. <coughs> Zubornik? Ah, it worked so nicely before, so why not again? On the house. 
That's... Okay. So I hope it's not very dexterous. Points. So that is math. Okay. So you've done a good chunk of damage. <clears throat> Alrighty then, are you doing anything else? Ah, uh, might as well see if Wizard's Mockery works on the house. You're taunting the house? <coughs> yes, I'm taunting the house. Also, he's taunting the house. As with many wooden foes I've faced before, you're obviously infested with the southern rent bark. And you're a disgrace to all facades. Did you just call that thing a termite home? Please don't be so inelegant. There doesn't appear to be any reaction from the house that you can see. You're unsure if this has affected it. <clears throat> well, I tried. <laughs> Reister. Yep. You're up. Still uh, nursing my uh, headache that I now have. Just heads up to there is a door here. <clears throat> uh, Rista's gonna take. Yeah, longbow shooting at the house. Okay. Well. Your ar your arrow clatters off the bark of the house. However, the strike has now woken the inhabitants of these cages, and you see that these two cages are absolutely filled to bursting with ravens who start flapping and panicking. Unleash the ravens, Sir Lane. Okay. Are you doing and any... To the house, I'm going to mock the house as well. Are Your you mother was mock Tudor. <laughs> 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 Your mother was made into a plywood bitch. <laughs> Your mother was a sem is an assembled kitchen from IKEA. <laughs> and your father well, let's just call him a little marionette. I didn't know you were to the Dwarven Village of Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been to the Dwarven Village and many of its travellers and salesmen. <laughs> you see no reaction from the tree that you're aware of. Are you Let's going to careful, move? Right? Uh, there's not much I can do aside from stepping a little bit to the side just so we're not all clustered if the house decides to throw another boulder. I was going to say, we've got to be careful to werewolves or we'll end up with a flat pack. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It is That's what we get if the werewolves are going to be killed with rocks. That's how you get a flat pack. Okay. Stump is running forward and he is getting in there with his claws. That hits. He does six points of slashing damage. <coughs> uh, that is that amount. I can do math. On second Let's thought, don't release the ravens. Not all of and them. And that's are a clear. nat one. Ow. He's biting himself, and suddenly he has no more lycanthropy. He's now a human. He bites onto the root, but the root jerks from his mouth. And you hear a little <laughs> as his uh, mane and canine tooth gets ripped from his head. Ew. Aww. First stump. Okay, Ez, you're up. Okay. Um, Ez, noticing the door and everything, is going to uh, turn to Avina. I'm going inside. Maybe. And she's going to do five. 10, 
I would say, 15 feet of her movement. Okay. Then she's going to use her Mighty Leap. She's going to burn a psionic point for an extra 20 feet. So she's basically going to leap. 15, 20. Going to get in there. Uh, there is a door there, and it is locked. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ez just you jumps just slap under the door. door. <laughs> so that that is literally what happens. Okay, then that's fine. Oh. Um, hmm. She's basically going to face palm the door, and is is there any chance I can use like a bonus action or something? Because that's technically my movement. Uh, yeah, um, you can use your action to try and either pick the lock or force the door. Okay, I think uh, we'll go with, um, yeah. Yes, you're picking the lock, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you're going for the delicate option. It's not like you're a hulking werewolf right now. On this action, feet of strength. Mm. Uh, and Attack strength check is going to be her action. So that's going to be beep de boop de boop de boop de boop. No, that's uh, not a mim. That's not Baba Yaga. Boop. Seventeen. Uh, you kick with your full force against the door, but it is much sturdier than you anticipated. It rattles mm. in its lock and does not open. Um, let me just check one more thing. Um, I get a bon- I didn't add the uh, bonus, uh, to the, uh, um, ba -ba -bum, whatever that bonus is, but okay. Do you, have, do you have a proficiency in kicking indoors? <laughs> this point she should, really. <laughs> Right, so your strength plus the five would have been seventeen. What's your feral might add to it? What's your what's uh, your half of your proficiency modifier? Proficiency modifier is three, rounded down. Uh, so I'd say. So it would be is that an extra? at the most nineteen. Okay. The door buys, and you can hear the wood crack around the frame, but it isn't open. Okay then. So you damaged uh, the door, reaction. which will make it easier next time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. However, it would be harder to pick the lock now. <laughs> oh yeah, the lock is fucked now. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, uh, I is just going to be sniffing around the door. It's like I smell you, and that's it. I don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, that doesn't happen. Uh, it is Thomas's turn, and he is going to attack 17. Does that hit? It does. He does four points of slashing damage. Is that all? Come on, Thomas. And then he's going to bite. And that misses. Next up is Ned. He's going to do the same thing. 22 hits. For seven. I should have just done this on a fucking calculator. Uh, <laughs> it's nice, that's one. Uh, okay. Uh, Sir Lane! The house. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to say, is it actually possible to disengage at this point? Uh, yes. Right, so if I was to move there, would that count? Uh, no, because through. you're still within its attack range. You can move there for free. Right. So I move there, and I'm going to prep my axe and take a swing at the door. Uh, rule an attack. 16. Does not hit. Damn. Oh, wait, actually, uh, sorry. Uh, it does hit. I was looking at the right. wrong armor class. <coughs> okay, so... Rule your damage. Uh, Six, Six and I get two attacks, so 21, that's nice. 11 on the door. Okay, and then that is, okay, 
Okay. Uh, the door is now splintering. It's still solid for the moment, but it is damaged. Jeffrey. There's not much else I can do, really. <laughs> Jeffrey is going to attack. He fecks up. Moonset breaks his claw. It's essentially, he swipes at a root, but it moves out of the way at the last second, so he just swipes at empty air and stumbles. Behind him, Ned goes, Hah. So he's going to attack instead. Bite. That hits and does a decent amount of damage. Okay. Next up, it is Arena. She is going to join us. 30. So she is now standing behind you and she is just going to poke at the underside of the house. <clears throat> because why the hell not? So rapier attack. That hits. And multi attack again. That one doesn't. So we'll add the 1d6. So that is. You enough max damage on her first attack. Nicely done, Arena. It's 15 points mm. of damage. <coughs> so that is... That amount. Okay. That's as much as she can do. Next up, it is the house's turn. And now I get to roll... How many people are within range of it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's roll a d8 and see what happens. <laughs> it would roll uh, uh, throw some boulder at Rasta <laughs> again. Uh, the only person uh, I ruled isn't actually within reach. It was going. Uh, it was uh, Ez, but can't get her because she's in the doorway. Everyone else it could hit, just not Ez at the moment. Uh, okay, so then. That definitely hits per Ned. Oh, my Ned. <laughs> Root slams down on the werewolf and you hear a sickening crunch as he howls out in pain. <coughs> he's on the ground, he is battered and bleeding, but he's still alive for now. Uh, next up. Great. <laughs> yes, it hits. Uh, that was actually towards Zabornik, I'm afraid. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm back to being conscious. Someone else well, used the cannonball move. At least I can heal. Can you make me a death saving throw, please? Uh. <laughs> That's one fail. <laughs> Reister, you just saw your companion go down under a boulder. <clears throat> Revolver cast cure wounds. Oh, you got healing? Yeah. Yeah. Bard. Level and bard. Okay, that brings me back up to six. At, le at least you live for now. I wish they'd stop aiming for the head. <laughs> Same. Anything else? Next time we next time I can't help you, by the way, Sponic. I'm all Got out it. of healing magic. So Thanks, none of us right. better get hit. Pokey stack of healing. Well, <clears throat> Yeah, stick of healing. I don't have that stick of healing. As uh, 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 has it. Zmonic has it. And uh, well, she's not exactly going to fight you if she's unconscious. <laughs> you're not. Th yeah, you're not throwing any boulders anymore at us. How's? How's? Longbow. Yeah, uh, you used your action to cast that healing spell. <sighs> it's just mockery then. I'm insulting the house again. You need to pick on old ladies. 
question is, is the house wise enough, enough to avoid that? You do see, you see no reaction to indicate the house is paying any attention to you? <laughs> the house. It's too stupid to understand what he retorts. We throw at it. If only we could throw boulders the same size. Uh, you're not throwing me again. I, I've had that for today. I wasn't suggesting that. Thank just, you. Just saying in case. Okay. Look, Next up is Stumpster. <laughs> oh my god. He hits. He does 8 slashing damage. And he's going to bite. He hits. Does 5 piercing damage. So altogether that is 13. Okay. As. Okay. Um, as Set is the house on fire. Yeah, um, I, th I think she's going to do that from the inside. So <laughs> she's just going to, uh, same as before, she's just going to try to rip her way inside uh, with her strength. Yeah. Regular attack. Okay, so strength, yeah. that's. Well, that's a six plus the whatever else. It was, uh, it was the that was... five and two. So yeah, that two has brought you up. <clears throat> With the door damaged as it is, you basically kick it in off its hinges. So mm -hmm. let me do this. If I go to the right layer. Uh, would that have counted as that would have counted as her uh, main action? It would have, yes. Okay. Inside, in that case, you see Baba Yaga on her bed, currently applying what appears to be healing salves to herself. Well, I don't think we're going to allow that. Um, bonus actions. I have a few. <laughs> Sections. I have a few. <laughs> Don't know why my brain went there. Ah, oh, this is awesome, isn't it? Um, Ez is basically just going to leap on top of her, snarling. Uh, not obviously not making an attack, and uh, she's just going to in like and roar out. Feed on her, come. Yeah, lichens. What? Oh, you didn't hear anything. All you heard was uh, husky sounds. Yeah, that's the player who's asking, not the character. <laughs> I should right. basically just, uh, you know, right. hold for the rest of the werewolves to come in. I was, I was just going to say, there's a comma in there. It's a very important comma. Yes. <laughs> well. <laughs> because otherwise we're back in the sex romp comedy stuff <laughs> and that feels rather inappropriate right now yeah um, <clears throat> Thomas is binding in the doorway he's jumping over a lane in the door and he is going to grab onto Baba Yaga's arm and start savaging her good 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 so he's basically now got her pinned by one arm. Ned is going to do the same. Ned is still alive? Come over to the other side and he is going to start savaging her as well. <clears throat> uh, oh, she is screaming out at the moment. She is pretty much fucked. Let's see. <laughs> That one doesn't do the damage. Doesn't do the damage. So she's grappled by these two, but no damage is being done. Uh, Sir Elaine. <laughs> I'm gonna... Sorry. Move into position here. I see what's going on. I turn around. And I grab hold of Irina and put her face straight into my shoulder. To try and stop her from watching. You're going to have to roll the strength on that. Please work. 
Not 20. Yeah, okay. She fights against you, but you just grab and pull her head in. I'm just going they're handling this. You don't need to see this. I want to see this. And that's your turn. Uh, Jeffrey bounds past you, and he's going in as well. And he's going to... Yep. He has jumped on the bed and he has just basically now grappled Baba Yaga. He's got her like in a head pin. The wolves are holding her for you. <laughs> Olé. Okay. Yeah. Elaine, I would like you to make me a strength saving throw, please. Damn. Yeah, Irina has gotten out of your grip. She's going past you. She gets a grapple of opportunity. <laughs> She's looking at Mez for, yeah. for permission. That's fine. Do, 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 do I get a grapple of opportunity? You do not get a grapple of opportunity, no. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> she is looking to Ez for permission. As as just basically um, gives the a proof of psych, kill her. <laughs> okay, she drives her rapier into Bobby Yaga's <sighs> throat, killing the witch. Hey, she only had a few health left. <laughs> yeah. Ding I'm dong, nuts. the witch is dead. However. <clears throat> the house is still moving. Yeah. Okay. I'm not seeing what's happening in there, but I'm pretty sure I don't want it. Looks like... Sounds a little bit like there's a bit of a house going on there. Uh, another root erupts out of the ground and slams down onto poor Stump. No, oh, Stump! And you hear... <laughs> I wanted to live. He's not dead. He's hurt. Severely hurt. But he's still uh, moving. Okay, which one of us is dead now? <clears throat> the house doesn't get him a second attack. Oh, doesn't. Oh. How come it did before and doesn't now? It's lost Baba some Yaga. of its power. Yeah. Honestly, uh, Zabonic is actually going to run over and uh, cast Healing Word on Stamp. Hold up. Spell. <coughs> Death. Hit something. Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry, we get through this. He snarls in pain, but he gives you a, a curt nod. Right, sir? Unless Sabornik has any other actions she wants to do? No, she, she's done for now. Okay. Arrow to the tree. 17. That hits. And since the house didn't look at me... Oops, sorry. I clicked that by accident. <clears throat> uh, uh, yeah. Since the house didn't attack. look at me, I get to do sneak attack. You know what? Sure, you can get sneak attack on a tree. <laughs> the house didn't look at me, so... It can't see him coming. It didn't see me coming. Didn't try to attack me. Had it tried to attack me before... I would have said Technically, okay. it does, actually. <laughs> it has blind sight for 120 feet, so technically it does see you, but... All right, then it would detract <laughs> the four. And it's just a regular 12. Oh, dear. Also, the ravens are probably no... Oh, no, they're fine. Scared. They're still shrieking and calling in the cage. 
Spawnek, can you do something about that? I can in my turn. <clears throat> Good. Stomp is going to continue to attack. That misses. That misses. Stomp is concussed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What are you doing? Um. Just before um, the house started moving again, Ez was looking at Arena with, you know, the usual adoration, lust, and so on, and was probably about to take a huge bite out of Baba Yaga's corpse. But as soon as the house starts, continues moving, uh, she's probably going to command the rest of the Lycans to just tear apart the house. Um, is there any chance to check to see if there's Anything in here that looks like a control, like an orb or um, a book or All right. something controlling it? <clears throat> the hut is 15 feet on each side and it's packed with old furniture, including a wooden cot, a wicker cabinet, a slender wardrobe, a wooden table, a stool, a barrel topped wooden chest reinforced with brass bands, and an iron tub stained with blood. In the middle of the room, the wooden crib is. There is a small angelic child sitting in it. All the furnishings, except for the crib, are bolted to the floor. Wait, but there's a, an actual child in the crib. Yes. From beneath uh, the crib, a green light is seeping up through the cracks in the rotting floorboards. Rotting floorboards. <laughs> Okay, that... Mm, shit. Oh, shit. What would Des do? Uh... Irina's almost sitting on the child. Uh, Woolly perception. It... Mm, yeah, okay. Fifteen. As Arena has turned shocked, now realizing that the thing is there, you notice her tail passed through it. Oh, it's an illusion. <sighs> oh, Ez is just gonna, you know, charge straight um, into the middle of it, and she's just gonna be scrabbling around with her claws, trying to find whatever is there. Okay, roll me strength to pry up the floorboards. Gay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, you toss the crib aside, nearly hitting Thomas, and pull the floorboards up. Inside, you can see a green glowing gem that is coiled into the roots of the tree. It's pulsing with magic. The Lognar. I should probably oh. not touch it, seeing as the last time she did. Yeah. It wants Just to go it. into her hand. No, I know. So, no. I apologize so much. Um, I just realized as well, um, as Baba Yaga died, um, Ez didn't really do the wisdom check. Um... So, uh, with, with your permission, could I, uh, like, rewind a little bit to see if um, she can resist using uh, the Soul Siphon? You can. Okay. Um, and with a DM's permission, uh, Ez is going to roll with advantage because Elaine's in the doorway. <laughs> sure. So, let's roll high, otherwise something bad might happen. <laughs> 18. Mm. 18. <sighs> Ez looks, yeah, Ez almost looks like she's about to lean her arm out to uh, Baba Yaga's corpse as Irina ends her life, but she just, like, growls to herself and, like, holds back. Creature die. And that's her turn. Okay. <clears throat> uh... So Thomas, being the good little puppy that he is, is going to follow your instructions and he's going to attack the walls of the house with advantage <laughs> because he's inside. That hit. I hit those seven damage. 
And he's going to start gnawing on one of the wood panels. You and might want that to doesn't get hit. out of there. So it's just sitting. Hey, look at that. It's yes, a out of treble arena. digits. Yes, and Irina should probably get out of there. It probably should, yeah. Ned is going to do the same thing. Uh, that hits. <clears throat> uh, bite. That doesn't, so he does six. Sir Lane. I know what the gem is. We run forward and use longsword to try and pry out the route. Rule me a dexterity. Please, Lewis. Oh, please, Lewis. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a fairly open cavity and it's not in there really all that hard. So you get your sword in underneath it and pop it out. As it leaves the cavity, the roots stop moving and the tree falls silent. It's the seed. You. Oh. I'm just going to quickly grab it and put it somewhere safe. That's lucky that you said that because Ez never made that connection. Ooh, that could have been bad. <laughs> well, that was fun. Ah. Interesting definition of fun. Everyone okay in there? I think so. Uh, we're all alive in here. It smiles to the wolf pack. Except uh, for one, I presume. Uh, Zabonic also turns to the ravens like, So, what brings you here? I think to talk to animals, animals could still be active. Is it still active? Captured! So. Captured! Free us! Zabonic actually uh, does start prying the cage open. <clears throat> okay. You easily enough unbind the cage and a swarm of ravens erupts out of it and starts flying off towards the west. And on the other side as well. This one does uh, the same, with the ravens shouting um, thank you as they fly off. To the w Did you say to the west or yes. to the east? To the west. Good. I believe that's where the Wizard of Wines is, so they belong to that flock. It's going on as is in a stride uh, forward to uh, you know the three uh, werewolves. You know, okay. sniffs them once and then just like leans past and just starts tearing into Baba Yaga. Um, just like f looking for whatever kind of um, any kind of like moaning spell tomes. Anything that she can make you self. You can see she's not <clears throat> she's not actually wearing the stuff she had on her while she was um fighting you at the mansion. It looks oh. like she has changed into night clothes. Ah. Huh. It's just like growls uh, in frustration and gives another slash at the body. And uh, then she looks over her yeah. shoulder at uh, Elaine and raises an eyebrow. Thomas, attempting to be helpful, stands aside and points towards the chest. Uh. As you look around the pack, Thomas, Ned and Stump look terrible. Jeffrey looks fine. Almost like he was avoiding something. Almost like he knew. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. At the risk of stealing hey. some spotlight, uh, 
while that's going on right quick, uh, Zabonric is going to actually take Stump aside and be like, You know, um, I don't want to see Discord in your pack, but you do know how other werewolves are, right? Um, she goes, They don't. They don't take kindly to weakness. I'm afraid they might, with your injuries, they might do something to you, and you might want to take off while they're not looking, and uh, maybe hide and meet up later. I can give you some more healing then. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, it really sucks, but... I promise you, you have a friend in me. And the rest of the pack, well, they will deal. And if you look back at their behavior, you know that I'm right. <coughs> look, is there... Is there anything I can do to make this easy, easier for you? Is I try as well, like, are you trying to talk sense into him? Not helping right study my team, you. Good luck, my friend. Hmm. Okay, back to regular scheduled program. Okay, while that uh, is going on outside, um, Ez is going to be uh, sniffing around uh, Jeff. And she's going to turn to uh, Ned and Thomas. And I can. Just seem unharmed. That's very fortunate of you. I'm good enough, fight me. Hmm. In Ned going to, uh, again, in Ned's head, um, she's going to, um, oh, did he even get involved in that fight? I didn't see him take a swing. He waited left us to do all the work again. Rule deception. Okay. This is where we roll in that one and we get three angry werewolves now, so <laughs> deception. It's a nine. It's it's almost as bad. Mm. He meets it. He beats it. <clears throat> you see a confused look come over Ned's face as he looks over at Jeff, and his he his eyes drift to the ceiling, and then he shakes his head because he did see Jeffrey fight alongside him outside. But it is impressive that he was never attacked. <laughs> That Jeffrey got through this unscathed. Not a, almost like he knew he was going to be protected. Wouldn't <laughs> you agree, Ez? Jeffrey's hackles are raising towards you, Reister. That's just like, I'll lead this pack for a reason. I'm good in a fight. And don't you suggest otherwise. I'm sorry I don't understand what you're saying. Are you trying to tell me that I'm an idiot? That's exactly what I'm saying. Um, as he moves forward, Ez is going to whisper um, mentally in Thomas's ear pretty much the same thing. Yeah, you know, Jeffrey always gets his way. When's it going to be our turn? Deception. Uh, this. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Thomas starts snarling towards Jeffrey. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's an interesting snarl. <laughs> uh, at this point, 
To be fair, Thomas him. probably has a punctured lung at this point. <laughs> so at this point, I grab Arena's arm and try and push her outside. You can't because the Reister's in the way. You can try to push me out, out the way as well. However... Yeah, try and push them both out of the way. She is going to try this. Ooh. Arena just lets out a vicious snarl. And all three uh, lichens just step back. Kiamania. You're outside. I think it would be better if these three wait outside while we look for what we need. I have to agree with my pack leader, as says gesturing to Arena. They scarper outside. Evening, lads. They all kind of take up a little spot outside next to the roots and start licking their wounds. Oh, little winklings. Me neither. Control yourself. You want to talk? Mm. Why the hell do you think I'm trying to stop him? <sighs> I can almost feel Saluni face palming at the two of you. As uh, gestures to the um, um, uh, in the corner. Well, since we're out of control, maybe you should uh, take con. You know, you should check the. Uh, Would I be able to check the traps at all? Uh, yeah. Roll an investigation. You can try. It's 19. Okay. You go to open the chest, but a shimmer catches your eye as you see a magical ink on the side of the chest. You recognize this as a uh, trap, trapped glyph protecting this chest. Hmm. Do I know of any way to remove it? No? Yes. Sorry, I thought I unmuted myself and right. I had to go off. So now that you've spotted it, that. it's very easy to remove. Right, I'm going to try and remove it. Yeah, you just wipe it off. It's the magical ink that gives it its power, so you just wipe that off. Right. Break the glyph. I know. I'm going to carefully open the chest. As you open that the chest, well. four severed hands flop out of the chest. That's handy. Uh, Ez just sort of like groans at Leicester. Uh, Someone has to provide the dad jokes today. <laughs> no, just open the chest up for it. Uh, just give me a quick sec. Uh... Well, looks like at least two people had a hand in this. <laughs> yeah. You're hilarious. Really? That's even worse. So, as the uh, hands hit the ground, they quickly flop over onto their palms and skitter on their fingertips to attack a lane. Okay, um, Ez is going to. Is this a um How did we have met the Adams family? Sorry, what was that, Dennis? Say so is this um, an initiative issue or um uh, are we okay to just uh, take swings at them? They are going to get a surprise round first, so let's see. <laughs> Where is there? I don't have they're they're not in rule twenty and I didn't have time to put them in, so it's just I'm gonna roll. So a claw attack for the first one. Uh, 21. 
That hits. <clears throat> and that does... Uh, five points of damage. Okay. The second one. Um, 16. I take that that doesn't hit. That misses. 17. Misses. <laughs> and four. <laughs> Definitely misses. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do about these little hands that are now currently gripping onto your legs? Um, I'm going to draw the place a flat of squeak sh place a flat of the blade I me mean long sword blade on the side of my leg and just push down okay uh, roll an attack it's only one handed so <laughs> 22 <laughs> only one handed so 22 uh, yeah, that definitely hits. Your blade sinks through one of the claws. It does free slashing damage. <clears throat> and it is now skewered on your blade and stops moving. Yeah, and I get two attacks, so I'll try the same thing again. It's 15. That hits. It's yeah, nine. You now have two uh, inanimate hands shish kebobbed on your dagger. Or your sword, even. Sword. Uh, Ez, you get your next uh, attack. Okay, Ez is going to, rather than use the uh, capet, she's going to uh, use her uh, claws to uh, slash at them. Uh, that hits. So one eviscer just completely explodes under your strike. And she'll use her second attack on uh, the one remaining one. That definitely does it. You just swipe it off Elaine's treasures. It just splats against the wall. Are there any more? Nope, there was only four of them. That's just like, are you alright? Nothing to worry about. He just says that in like the most... Not cool as in... You know, he just says it like... It doesn't even bother him. Like, well, even out of those things, it's not nothing important. Alright, so, you rummage around in the chest, and you five, you five, you five, you find a collection of purses that contain a total of 1,300 gold pieces, five gemstones that are cut and polished and sizable, you reckon they'll be worth 500 gold uh, pieces each. A vial with a tattered label, uh, <coughs> excuse me, call, uh, called Oil of Sharpness. <whistles> Two spell scrolls. One containing the spell Mass Cure Wounds. The second containing the spell Revivify. Hmm. A pouch containing ten uh, sling bullets that have been altered and polished for a better strike. Plus one. Mm. A set of pipes with odd carvings. You sense magic from these. And a, Not a big smoker. And a rubbing stone. When you pick this up, you feel. Very lucky. Well, first thing I do is I put two scrolls into the bag of holding. Okay. So just for it's going to allow it, um, Elaine to basically. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Once she's calmed down a little, she is going to move forward and, uh, you know, say to Elaine in a low voice, Take care of them. What, what, what do you want us to do? At this point, I just look at Irina and then 
back to Les. So, if you want to kill them, go and do it. Irina will not watch. I've understood. Here's sort of like little glares at um, Elaine a bit, and uh, she'll um, nod to Irina. Um, sorry, you cut out there, Dennis. Um, Ez is going to uh, turn to Arena, and uh, she's going to ask Arena what she wants to do. I don't like the idea mind. of leaving them unchecked down here. Jeffrey said he wanted us to grow the pack. That's obviously not going to happen. What's going to stop him looking elsewhere for that? Okay. This part I give, this part I give Arena a bag of holding. I say, Arena, could you put anything of value into this? What? Anything of value you can find, like the stuff that's left in the chest, or oh. stuff in the wardrobe, or anything right. of value. And I'm just going to look at Ez and indicate for her to go outside. Hold on. Irina knows exactly what you're doing. So, Irina, that little voice in your head, do you still get that? Or is that just something that I got? What do you mean? You know, when I was bitten by that werewolf in the tower, suddenly the the, you know, sometimes you have this little voice that tells you to do stupid things. This one started yelling at me, telling me to kill and maim and murder. Do you get that? Or is that just... Just something that I had to deal with? Honestly, yes. But I haven't heard it in a long yeah. time. You're not entirely sure what she's talking about. Uh, look, Arena. I've had a little bit of a chat with Saluni last night. And a god came to you in your sleep. At least that's how it seems to me, yeah. And what did she say? She looks genuinely interested in this, by the way. Despite she, me sounding sarcastic. Too. That's because when you put her voice on, you have to sound sarcastic. I do, um, a little bit, yes. <clears throat> um, she told me that the ritual wasn't complete. What? What do you mean? You see, sometimes you have, when you have very strong emotions, when you feel very, very strongly, that's when your eyes flash. And what do you think this means? I am not certain. It might mean that you are that you are struggling for your own control or the control over yourself I've never been a lycanthrope so I I can't say for certain but that's how it feels to me well to be honest there are some times I've felt compelled to be like this. One with the pack? 
Um, yes. No. Running with a wi running wild. <laughs> uh, yes. <clears throat> Honestly, that compulsion's oh. kind of eased since I've been like this. Yes, right now it is it has eased because you're so close to that. But there might be a time where you just don't want to turn back. I honestly don't think I'll have a choice in that matter, unfortunately. But, yes, this does feel, for the lack of a bit of word, better. More comforting. Yes. It's a weird comfort. Look, we are, we are your pack. We're here to help you. <laughs> and unlike most, most wolf packs, there's no alpha. There's no leader necessary. We can work on things together. It's like bears all her teeth in what you assume is a smile in this form. As she nods her head. <clears throat> okay. And as much as I, it hurts me to say this, but since Ez doesn't necessarily <clears throat> know everything about herself, Them, there might be parts of her that are not who you wish her to be. She tilts her head, looking a little confused. Don't look at me like that. I don't know anything be any better either. Hmm. It's just. Since Ez doesn't know where she comes from, oh, really? where her ba where her birthplace is, Do in a think... way she's a lot like you. <laughs> thinking about it. Yes. But she seems to know what she's doing for now. I hope she does. Because if she doesn't, I've seen the. F I've seen what could happen. What do you mean? Let's just say the vision was rather bloody. It really looks mildly it concerned. And it had three werewolves. <clears throat> All of them. No longer in control of their human selves. Or whatever as it is. Is that what a loon showed show you? That is one of the ways that things could turn out. That she showed me, yes. She showed me one possible future. Not the Future. It's not set in stone. That's why I'm talking to you. Because I don't want that to happen. Not for you. Not for us. Not for Sir Elaine. And not for those that would end up on the wrong side of your teeth. As you say that, she kind of glances to the old lady corpse beside her. Not her, not her. her. Her death was justified. Mm. Yes, well. But, but in a sense. <laughs> so I think one of our next steps has to be to get you to the monastery and maybe find a way to finish what has started for you. 
and lead you to a step in your journey where you are most definitely in control because you just got a jump start and you don't know how to operate this at least not fully she looks down at her hands and flexes them for a bit rule me persuasion uh. with advantage nope I'm not sure what a monastery will have to do about this, but it's something for another day. For now, let's just wrap up here. She turns her back to you and goes back to red in the chest. Okay. Now, while this was going on, mm. you stepped outside and Jeffrey flashed as the cockiest grin and he has lent himself on the roots in a way to show off what little muscle he has. As Ez, Ez is just smiling at him with the most predatory smile that she can muster. So then? Who so did? Breeze Who is did ass. everything she would? <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed that. I missed what he said. I'm sorry. The breeze is ours. Yes. As we agreed. As this, this will make a nice little place for our little uh, pack to get started now, won't it? Hmm. Do you think, Elaine? This is a lovely location. We're leaving them, isn't it? Leaving? <laughs> yeah, you said you were staying here. No, he but said... But I would consider that. We said we were going to leave you the buffet. All the goats you can eat, all the land that you need. Eight goats isn't exactly all you can eat, but I see your point. Still, you did promise you would help us grow our pack. Is there any help better than getting rid of the witch? Uh, oh, no, man, sorry. That was your side of the deal. That's what you wanted. Now we want what we want. Well, oh, this is back. going on. Um, Ez is going to, you know, continue to try and whisper in uh, both Thomas and Ned's uh, minds that um, basically we need to get rid of Jeffrey. And uh, Ez is actually going to uh, be um, like half ignoring <laughs> Jeffrey, and she's going to be. Uh, Flirting with, uh, you know, stroking her Thomas's ear, giving Ned the bedroom eyes, that kind of thing. Roll persuasion with advantage twice. Okay. Okay, number one. <laughs> mm. mm. Alright. Thomas is just kind of sitting on the ground, nursing his wounds, just leaning into your fingers. Enjoying the scratch. Ned kind of turns his eyes to look at Jeffrey. And before you can stop him, he lashes out with his claws. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what? You little fucker! Jeffrey's going to return his attack. You, what just? What is? What is happening? And he is going to grab Ned by the throat and just tear it out. Ew. Ned. That was drops to the ground. What is? What the? 
in like and Ez is going to um, yell to Thomas he wants me all to himself protect me and I'm yours and she's going to take a swing at Jeffrey that's going to be so are we in an initiative uh, are we in surprise round or I would say this would be a surprise round you oh, and Elaine okay. get an action, uh, Zabornik gets an action, Thomas gets an action, and then we go into initiative. Okay, so that's going to be two swings at uh, Jeffrey. <clears throat> you get one swing on a surprise round, I'm afraid. It's fair. Actually, let me double check that. No, your ground, go ahead. Oh, okay, okay, and uh, the second swing... Ha! Miss both times, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, what? Uh, the second time? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> right. I'm going to just two-handed longsword straight onto the back of his head. Okay. Roll it. A nine with that one. Uh, your longsword isn't silvered, right? No, it's not silvered. No. Uh, that does not hit. Christ's sake. That one does. Oh, okay. Two... Oh, for God's sake. Okay. And Zabornik? Uh, Zabornik is very confused and is just shouting out, What is happening here? Okay. Thomas. Let's see where his loyalties lie. Which head is he going to think with? Mm. Little head. Good boy, good boy. Go for, uh, uh yeah. That hits. Yeah. Four, seven. So that's. Four. <coughs> Excuse me. And then he's gonna bite. That hits. For that amount. Okay. So, we'll in the shit. Oh, yes. So, to be honest, it is actually 21. So, do we want to finish this now or do we want to leave this till next week? Um, That's the question for the group. I'd say finish it now. Okay. Clean like up the mess. Yeah. yeah. Well, Den's not here next week, is he? Yep. That is true. He won't be here next week. So, it's up to Reister, really, because he might have work in the morning. Nah, it'll be fine. Okay, if you're sure. Um, we'll be as quick as we can then. Okay. Alright, let me just clear the turn order before you stole initiatives. I mean, after all, Aisha and Irina is still in the room, <clears throat> so we're not involved in this combat. For now. It yeah. depends on how... Uh... How slow you are. <laughs> so kill him quickly. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Okay. Everybody on there? Yep. Okay. Sir Lane, you're up. Okay, I'm going to try and attack again. Uh, roll it. 23. That hits. It's 5 slashing, and same again. Okay. 24. That hits. It's 12. 12 altogether. <clears throat> okay. Zabornik. Hmm. Zabornik is still very confused, but her first thought is that uh, she has to just... Uh, Disarm the situation, so what she's actually gonna do is she's gonna uh, cast Hold Person on Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Rude. Okay. That's a wisdom save. He beats it, I think. What's your spell DC? Yeah, that's spell save is 13. Yeah, okay, so he glares over at you and snarls. So yeah. let's see. One, two, three. Who's he gonna go for? Good night, bloody. Good night, bloody. Good night, bloody. Okay. Good night, bloody. I am afraid he is going for some poor night. I'm so sorry. Hang on. I'm gonna use my. Uh, can I use my protection? Uh, is that your ability? Uh. The one for shield, yeah. Yeah, okay, Render. you can, yeah. That uh, okay. puts disadvantage on them, is that correct? Yep. Seven. Woods. 
Just sort of yeah. idle curiosity, I want to see what the Nat 20 would have done. <laughs> yeah, Zimornik would have been on gun just for the third time today. So, thank you very much. So, I will say as this. well. Yeah? I apologize. Um, it's probably too late now, but um, as Ned fell, uh, Ez should have really used her reaction for A Curse of the Fallen Puppet. Mm, I'm afraid it's, it's too late. It's too late. late. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. That's on me. He is going to turn his second attack on Sir Elaine, though. I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Okay, one second. Mm -hmm. That's six damage. And I failed on the saving pro. Make me a religion check. Okay, one second. Okay. Nineteen. You feel your holy symbol flare against your flesh. It matches the pain on your arm from the bite. As you feel it start to fade and dissipate. Oof. Barely escaped lycanthropy. Where your was holy lycanthropy? symbol turns dull and spots of rust appear on it. Well, hope that Salona will give him a new one. <clears throat> Ez. Ez uh, is gonna... She's gonna cleave the head off this bastard for that. Um, did Ez notice that the uh, symbol got damaged? I would say rule perception. You didn't see it, you just saw the bike. Okay, well, just for the bite, she's going to take two swings at uh, Jeffrey. That hits. First one, 16. Yep, and that's going to be five, six, that's uh, seven. And a seven. Uh, second attack, sorry. That hits. So that's 14 damage. Okay. Uh, she's also going to... You first, Seth? I was going to say, am I a werewolf now, or...? You got your now. one freebie from Saloon. Right, okay. <laughs> Basically, uh, any of Saloon's boons that you have are now gone. Right. That includes your bonus to wisdom saves against the Wolf King. Oh, fair enough. Hmm. So I'm um, going to yell out to a Reister and Arena to get their asses out here. Alrighty then. Did you hear that? I did. She is on the initiative order. If you want to pop yourself on the initiative order too there. Already did roll initiative. Oh, did yep. you? Oh, so you did. Yep. <laughs> Quiet. Sneaky wrist. Okay, next up is Thomas. He's going to attack. That hits. And he's going to bite. That hits. Okay. Thomas lunges forward under Ez's arms and slashes across Jeffrey's chest. He staggers back against the roots, and then Thomas lunges forward and sinks his teeth into his neck and pulls out the flesh of his throat. Ooh. Jeffrey falls to the ground. And Thomas turns, grinning happily at his. Oh, very good boy. Um, Ez is going to sort of, like, she's based, well, she can't move for anything, um, she's gonna try and, 
I think she's going to try and grapple him <laughs> on her turn so Elaine can get a free shot, but at least she's going to have Thomas uh, fix his attention on her. As far as Thomas is concerned, the battle is over. Yeah. Depends what Elaine wants to do. The hell is up? The hell is going on? Oh, we set it, forward and with a two handed swing decapitate Thomas. Uh, is there any possibility that uh, Zabonic steps in at the last second? <clears throat> um, I would say you could roll a dexterity to try and get in his way. Hang on, me. All right. Probably right. one of the stairs. Uh, dexterity. That's, uh, is that dexterity or dexterity save? Uh, a dexterity check. Okay. If you want to try and get around her, I would roll dexterity uh, save there. Elaine. All right, sorry. <laughs> Zabornik basically grabs your arm. What do you think you're doing? I'm just, I'm just staying silent at this point. As Zabornik says that, Thomas turns and looks at you, and then sees the bite in your arm. <laughs> Our pack can still grow. No. At this point, I grab his head. I just go, get out of here. Understood. What take his it. advice. Please take his advice. You've seen what we can do, and I can't hold them back forever. What? He looks to you, yes. Run. Mm. Leave. And she just turns her back on him. I, I fought. I killed for you. Please just go. You see that? And I'm you're... old. I cannot hold him back forever. Thomas, your price is. That you get to live. I don't take kindly to people trying to steal my mates. And fight for them! You're sure you want to do that? Please. At this point, you just, I just lean over him and try and intimidate him. And this is where it goes wrong. <laughs> oh, 17. Oops, I made a click on Thomas. Never mind. <laughs> It'll work for that too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, as you growl at him, he stands up to his full height and just snarls at you. Leave or things will take a very very dark turn. Thomas, don't be a fool. Don't you see that you're outnumbered? Even Arena's joined in on the growling on this. He sprints <sighs> off. Is, um, she's got her back to the whole thing. She's just going to, like, over the shoulder say, it would have been cleaner to kill him. Now there's going to be at least two of them wandering around. Maybe we could have... They are... Maybe we could have gotten wounded. them to stay away from sapient beings if you hadn't just turned this into a jolly little massacre. That's kind of how things always go. Turned they in, turn into murder. They should Dispose not. of those that have served that duty. And trust me, Zvonik, I don't like it either. Well, he was no danger. Not right now. Killing someone in combat is one thing, but... I'm not a murderer, and I'm not an accessory to murder.
If he gets stronger, he's going to kill someone else. Then his killing is justified. Okay. Ez and Arena. These have reached your time limit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oof. Oops, there. Mm. <sighs> hey. Rina just kind of sinks down to the ground. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I am exhausted. It has been a bit of a day. As um, turns and uh, walks out to Zabarnak. It has been a bit more than just a day, is. Oh, the honest that. with you, I won't argue with everything you just said. We needed to get rid of them. They were... who would kill and spread their disease and make more like them. And Zabarnik looks over to uh, the house with, where there's a little trickle of blood coming out of the door and she... Uh, You're not coming through there, creature? Oh. Beep beep. Test. I can hear you. Okay. No. Um, I think my headset is Zabonic looks back to the house and sees a little bit of a trickle of blood coming out the door and looks back to us and goes, And you are different, how? I have control. And when you tell me to stop... Yes, and she kicks uh, the corpse of Jeffrey. Weren't men. They seem to be in control when I saw them. As for that, she take the uh, the sword, uh, the uh, capeche and everything, and she'll hand it over to Elaine. And she'll just uh, wander over and, uh, you know, sit next to um, Irina. Okay. Look, you, you, you can't just treat someone like a person to make a deal with them and then slaughter them like an animal. We can't, we can't be like that. We're not a mob anymore. We, we don't do that. I, <sighs> let's You're just right. go. We should. Zvonik, I agree. We shouldn't need to stoop so, stoop so low. Zvonik, you saw how Tom, how happy Thomas was when Elaine got bitten. Wait, Elaine got bitten! Elaine! The arm! Oh yeah, there's that. It's alright. What do you mean it's alright? You... seem different. I'm not cursed. That's what you mean. How do you know? Rysa should be seeing the symbol and that it's dull now. You do. Your whole symbol, it's a little symbol. It's dull, it's starting to rust. Evidently. Did she, did she protect you? She did. <sighs> Blessed be. <sighs> God, I'm sounding like my, uh, like my brother. <laughs> he, he's but, a priest. Okay. Anyway, now. It's clear now but, to receive that blessing yet, if at all. I'm fairly certain. If I understood her correctly, you will get the blessing when your duty is done. At this point, I just hand the Kapesh back to her and just go. At this point, even if she told me I could have it right now, I'd say no. I'm just gonna make my way past the arena and just go into the house. I'm tired. Might as well rest here. 
You probably don't want to sleep on that bed. The mattress <laughs> is a bit stained. I'm just gonna put myself in the corner near the desk. Oh dear. I think that might be the best idea. Yes. It's more like Christ, I feel that you head in as well. Uh, yeah. uh, I, th I think I should actually talk a little bit to her, unless you want to talk to her I do. about what I oh, told you, oh. what I told you before in the house. I'll pass it on to her. At this point, I just look up at Zbarnak. Okay. Zbarnak, thank you for getting in the way. <sighs> That's. It's fine. It's fine. I've I've seen too much. I've I've just seen too much. Irina glances back towards the house and then to Ez and says lowly and like him We're going to hunt him down, aren't we? Mean the one that we just let go? She nods. He will just stalk us again. How do we explain that to them too? The rest of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I suppose you're right. But we're going to have to keep our eyes out. He's not going to let that go anytime soon. Now, if uh, he bites any of them, then they're going to be feral. They won't be like us. They won't have the control we do. It's one of the reasons I want to get rid of him, but... I suppose the Bonac won't understand. Do you think that we should go now and kill him? Really? Are you sure? Whatever you say. I hope Arena doesn't do anything stupid right now. I'm just keeping my eye on the open door so I can still see the two of them. She glances over to you. I want to, but I'll do as you say. We'll wait if he comes back. But if he does come and back, he I'll tear his throat out. As smiles warmly at her, let's make her. And he comes back. And she's going to um, take position up her outside the door. With Arena. I think they're both going to get first watch. <laughs> I am so conflicted by this. <laughs> And we'll end the session there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes! <sighs> Character oh, stuff! Mm. I'm so glad that Zabornak had a problem with that. That's awesome! Why are you yeah. shouting at me, Kat? Okay. <laughs> Alright, play of the game. Shouty. Kat had a problem with it, too. <laughs> yeah, she was mewing the whole fight. <laughs> she wanted out of the Poor room. Thing. She can't open the door herself. <laughs> so, play the game. Could be I biased, think... but... You first. I was going to say, I think that um, the... Um... Oh, what was the name of the one that got away? Uh... Hmm. Jeffrey or... Thomas. Stumpy. Stumpy was yeah, the yeah, one I that think... Zabornik talked around to leaving. Stumpy. <laughs> yeah. 
I think Stumpy got some good swings in, but I think, uh, you know, Thomas um, almost uh, one shot in Jeffrey and looking so proud of himself. <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking with the wrong head. Yes. <laughs> Fumble of the game. I mean, it's not exactly her fault, but I feel like Zabona getting knocked out almost three times. <laughs> I can't believe that that one shot. You to be truly honest. Uh, I would say Barry and Larry. <laughs> oh God, that Larry! Oh yeah, the poor <laughs> Yeah, that was yeah. So good. Mary, that was Gary, such great voice work, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we never got to learn the names of the entire pair. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, per my personal best was, of course, the long distance shot at mm. mm. Baba Yaga. Then again, I'm biased. <laughs> if if Ares hadn't been restraining herself, there would have been way more of a bloodbath in there. If it weren't for the fact that Elaine was in that doorway watching them, I think Ares would have basically just eviscerated um, what was on the bed. <laughs> um. Oh, so that was fun. Yes. Uh, remember to add the items into your mm. uh, inventories. The mm. gold, the gemstones, the oil of sharpness, the spell scrolls, the magical pipes and a lucky stone have all been added in. Have all been in there. <clears throat> added, I added the um, the gold and the gems to the community chest, so to say. Good, good. Hmm. Um, yes, to, one of y'all uh, needs to get identified chest. seriously. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Rena still got a bag of holding. So yeah, yeah, it's outside. She basically stuffed all that stuff inside when you told her to. Right. Okay. She totally knew yeah. what you want, what you were trying to do. You were trying to distract her, but she just wasn't gonna argue with you. And then Risa came in and talked to her, and tried to distract her even more mm -hmm. <clears throat> with a serious chat. And yes, the small little murder voice is in Risa's head. <laughs> it's got, it's gotten a bit louder recently. So he got a little bit bitten out of him. Oh, it's just a, a shame now that you aren't going to be hearing from Selene anytime soon. Yeah, she's mm. going to take a while oh. till she returns. We would, we would still have a shot to hear from her daily. <laughs> uh, let's just say that little minor miracle used up all her power that was in Barovia. Ah. For now. Yeah, but Druid's Druids uh, at level 7 have divination. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, All right. Elaine, you can talk to, to every god you want. Pretty much. Want it? Interesting. Yep. So, so Elaine is not going to call on her anytime soon, though. <laughs> I'm going to limit it to two, uh, two gods that I could justify talking to Zabone. Hmm. Well, Salune has a piqued interest in the party. So, mm. I think we'll leave that there. Um, it's going to be a good night from me, a good night from Creature. Good night and good conflict. <laughs> good night from Dare Cork. Good night and don't forget that Dennis will be at a convention next weekend. Uh, yeah, That is also true. Okay, Dennis, either, would you like either, to say good night and also tell us about your convention? I would indeed. Um, good night, everybody. I uh, hope to see everybody at the uh, Memphis Anime Blues Con next weekend. Um, what what dates of the convention? Love of my life. That's the thirteenth uh, and fourteenth. Gonna be at um, the. Uh, it's somewhere in Memphis. Um, I should know the name of the location because I'm a professional. Walking in Memphis. Well, in Memphis, yeah, Google. It's it's a nice convention, and I do recommend people check it out. I would check the Memphis oh, Convention okay. Center if there is such a <clears> thing. And lastly, a good night from our paladin, Sir Lane, Sefi Senpai. Night, night. I'll see you all, guys.
next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.